question. Order. 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 Question number six, Julie Ann Genta. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Transport. Has he read the City Centre Future Access Study, which found that of the options for Auckland CBD transport infrastructure, the City Rail Link, quote, has the highest road network speeds within the City Centre, unquote? Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Yes, Mr. Speaker, I have. Uh, but I'm not sure that the member has correctly interpreted this research. The City Rail Loop would not be part of the road network. From a road safety perspective, I'd ask that she please not drive her car along railway lines. <laughs> Supplementary question. Order, order. Supplementary question, Julie Ann Gento. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Given his focus on reducing travel time for New Zealand motorists, why is his government blocking progress on the city rail link, which will reduce rail journey times by as much as 60 per cent and result in faster travel times for hundreds of thousands of Auckland motorists? Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, we are not blocking progress on the rail loop. We are in discussions with the Auckland Transport and the Auckland City Council on what is the best options for them moving forward. What we do know is that even if the rail loop were to be built, by 2030 the congestion situation in, the, in Auckland would be no better than it is now. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Julianne Gento. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Is he denying that building the city rail link would give much better transport options to thousands, tens of thousands of Aucklanders in 2030? Honourable Jerry Brownlee. No. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. How will Julia, the government supplementary question, Julianne Gento. How will the government provide adequate transport options for the 100,000 people who will be commuting to Auckland CBD every weekday by 2021 if he continues to say no to the city rail link, which will move the most people the fastest with the least congestion? Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, even if the city rail loop were in place right now, it would have a minimal effect on the total number of journeys into the city by cars by 2021. The reality is that either way you are looking at an increased number of cars coming into the central city. So simply applying, simply saying let's build this $2.4 billion rail loop uh, to overcome a problem is not recognising what the problem is. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary question, uh, Julie. Point of order. Point of order, Julie. I leave to table this graph from Auckland Transport showing that the number of cars, or the number of people travelling by car entering to Auckland CBD from 2001 and to 2012 reduced significantly by 20 per cent, while the number coming by public transport increased source, by 50 per cent. Source of the document? This is data provided by Auckland Transport to myself. I don't believe it's publicly available. Okay, leave a sort of. Leave us sought to table it. Is there any objection? There's not. Can Thank be you. tabled. Is that... Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Julianne Genta. Does he disagree with the recommendation of the government commissioned Enright report on New Zealand's competitiveness, which stated that the Auckland Rail Link must be the priority to improve productivity? And if so, why? Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, I, I neither agree nor disagree. What we are doing at the moment is trying to work out whether or not uh, that rail loop should progress. Secondly, at what is the, if it were to, what would be the optimal time for it to progress? And I'd point out that, counter to what the member has just said about the reduced number of journeys into the city in 2021, should that rail loop go ahead, my information suggests it would be around about a 1,600 reduction, not the numbers the member is claiming. Supplementary question. Supplementary, Supplementary question, Julianne Gento. So how many more reports does he need to conclude that the city rail link is necessary, given that we've had the Enright report, the city centre future access study, the 2010 Auckland city, uh, the Auckland city rail link business case? before he will get on board with this project that all, the people of Auckland and the businesses of Auckland want. 
Honourable Jerry Burnley. Well, Mr. Speaker, there is the problem, you see. So here is the report that the member speaks to a very large volume. Uh, it is accompanied by many other large volumes, and they do not either individually or collectively reach the conclusions she claims. This is a $2.4 billion project in today's terms for a relatively short piece of rail for very modest gains. A point of order, Julie Ann Genter. Uh, I seek leave to table this page from the Enright report, which states that the Auckland City Rail Link should be a priority for lifting is productivity. The, is the Enright report available to members? It is. Then it won't be tabled. Question number seven, Claire Curran. Thank you. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister for...